Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new Division video. What if you guys today is another episode of 5 God Roll Weapons You Should Buy. Now if you guys are brand new to the channel, how this episode pretty much works is anytime the vendors are restocked or anytime the vendors are selling anything good, I pretty much go over there and you know recommend some of the weapons I feel like are really really good. And I also tell you guys some of the talents you could reroll to potentially make it into a God Roll Weapon. One really quick thing I want to say before I continue the video is I'm sorry if my voice sounds kind of weird but I've been having a stuffed nose for the past 4 or 5 days and honestly anything I do it just comes back the next minute so once again I'm sorry if my voice sounds kind of weird in today's video but there's really nothing I can do. Anyways if you guys do enjoy the video or find it helpful don't forget to leave a like, subscribe for more videos and let's get right into these weapons. Coming up first, we go to this Dark Zone Gear Avenger. Now keep in mind, this is in the base of operation, so you don't really have to go into the Dark Zone uh, to actually buy this weapon. Now this is actually a really, really good assault rifle that I would hands down recommend buying. Now I'm not saying the military SA-58 is the best assault rifle in the game, but honestly with the damage rolls it has on this weapon and also the talent it does come with, this is hands down one of those weapons you want to buy if you're going for a alpha bridge build if you need just something that you know has really good talent and you don't really have to re-roll anything this is one of those weapons so what it comes with is 22 percent enemy armor damage right off the bat which is really high for a assault rifle um and also it comes with 24.3 thousand damage which once again is really really good the talents this weapon actually comes with is deadly intense and responsive now as you guys know Responsive and Deadly are actually pretty good talents in patch 1.5 and just overall the game. Intense, not so much. I would recommend rerolling this talent for Brutal, uh, maybe Destructive, Ferocious if you even have enough electronics um, or anything like that. So once again, Deadly and Responsive, you want to keep those talents, don't even touch them. Intense, you definitely want to reroll this for any damage talent you can pretty much get. Moving on next to this advanced weapon vendor, now this vendor always sells really good stuff every single week. Now the first one we have is this Pakam, I'm sorry if I'm saying this kind of weird, I really don't know how to pronounce this word, but it comes with 16.8k base damage, which in my opinion isn't the most for a LMG. Also the 11% damage to targets out of cover isn't really too much, you honestly want that to be a little bit higher, but you know, it is what it is. Now moving to the talents, it comes with Swift destructive and ferocious and this is the main reason why i recommend buying this ferocious is a free talent on this weapon so that means you don't have to have you know enough electronics to actually use this you can use ferocious destructive and in my opinion if you go for something like deadly or brutal for this first talent instead of swift it's going to make it a very very good god roll weapon moving on down we have this tactical aug a3p now in my opinion this isn't a god roll weapon but the only reason I do want to recommend this weapon for you guys if you're looking for a decent submachine gun is because it rolled skilled as the free talent. Now if you guys don't know what skill does, uh, headshot kills with this weapon increase signature skill resources by 5%. So pretty much anytime you get a headshot kill, it helps out your skills which is really really good for a submachine gun. Especially when you're using this for a alpha bridge build, skilled can come in very very handy. Keep in mind this also comes with Vicious and Determined. Vicious is okay in my opinion. Uh, Determined you honestly want to reroll that for something like Brutal, Deadly, Ferocious, Destructive. If you can get anything like that, it's going to make this weapon really really good. The final weapon I would recommend buying from this vendor is this Military RPK-74M. Now this is actually another LMG that's actually pretty good. Although the base damage is pretty low, it's 15.6. And the damage to targets out of cover is only 12%. It did roll some decent talents which you guys can use for once again something like a alpha bridge build. Now the talents it did roll are brutal, self-preserved, and accurate. Now to be honest, right off the bat this LMG has decent talents. The only thing I would recommend re-rolling maybe is accurate but you don't really have to. Accurate is actually pretty good on LMGs my opinion. Um, so you know it's overall a pretty good weapon uh, to buy and just pretty much use it right away. Last but not least, coming down to the special equipment vendor, we have one of the weapons that I would recommend 100% buying, and that is the SRSA1. Now, this is one of the weapons I'm saving up my Phoenix credits to actually buy. This actually comes with really, really good damage and really good talents right off the bat. Once you buy this marksman rifle, it comes with 169% headshot damage, which is a lot for a marksman rifle. Also, it comes with 103,000 damage which once again is really really high. With a right build, you can get this marksman rifle to hit for some serious serious damage on any NPC. 
The talents that this weapon actually comes with is Vicious, Brutal, and Determined once again. Vicious and Brutal, 100% hands down, I would keep, don't even touch those talents. Determined, I would really recommend rerolling that because 1. You need 4,790 electronics to actually unlock this talent, which in my mind is a shit ton of electronics, and 2. This Determined talent isn't really that good in my opinion, I really never found, you know, a really good use for it. So once again, I would really recommend rerolling this talent. But that's pretty much it for the video, thank you guys so much for watching, if you have any questions leave them down in the comment section below, I reply to all my comments, but once again, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one, peace.